Paradox An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A certain life. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, few egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect, pure Carlin Gilbert style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be new to the fullest. This video is about multiple things at the same time. It's not just a video about Nixie, not just a video to Nixie, but also about some recent goings on with us here at PSEC and how it all bails together into one synchronistically joined cluster of coincidence. So let's also remember that we've been taught to pronounce coincidence the wrong way. It's coincidence. Things which do in fact coincide, but we don't necessarily recognize the connections. Connections. Indeed, connections. That really seems to be the driving force with all of this stuff lately, doesn't it? Particularly, genuine sincere connections based on honesty and integrity. I've noticed I'm not by far the only one vomiting up the societal garbage on a personal journey to explore more meaningful avenues of existence. Of course, like Nixie, one of the pieces of garbage I've been extremely happy to purge from my little corner of reality has been Microsoft Windows. I started with Debian, just like Nixie. Went to Ubuntu, just like Nixie. Haven't looked back since. Just like- <coughs> Wait, 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 wait. I see what you did there. Well, okay, I'm sure she still uses Windows sometimes for some games and such when she can't work some wine magic, but I digress. Within the last six months or so, I've experienced a lot of coming together with both people and platforms that have a higher quality of integrity as well as letting things and people which no longer resonate peacefully drift away into the abyss of dogmatic societal bullshittery. Drama and stress at an all-time low, productivity continuing to increase, as well as the need to learn to adapt to changes that I'm quite simply not used to making. I still do a lot of my more traditional, educationally, comical, original works, creative commons, fair use, hybridization of content to crank out disturbing educational videos that likely have George Carlin and Bill Hicks doing a happy dance in their graves. However, this year of 2015, seeming to be more of a year of action, the digital gods of cyberspace seem to have me more synchronistically gravitating towards interactive group activities. Not only working more with others on multimedia projects, but a strong emphasis on Google Hangouts. Also, as a result of being tightly knit in the spheres of internet radio, and what some might deem as the fringe science crowds, Myself and other PSEC personas tend to periodically end up as guests on internet radio shows, as well as interviewing people, and, well, I'm sure you know the basic drill here. Because it can be such a pain in the ass to take an audio file and create graphics and spend hours and hours getting this stuff rendered and uploaded and so on, I got to thinking that because Skype is what is primarily used within the realms of internet radio. 
How cool would it be to link Skype and Google Hangout together? Mission accomplished. You won't believe how I'm talking to you right now. Oh. Well, you're talking to me through Skype, but believe it or not, I'm not talking to you through Skype. I'm talking to you through Google Hangout. I successfully linked them. Oh, cool. Yeah. Using one Linux Mint desktop system, one Linux Mint laptop, and a third laptop running good ol' Ubuntu netbook. Yes, the version before the Unity bastardization took place and morphed into Ubuntu version 12 point vomit. Nothing like Unity to encourage people to check out Linux Mint. Meanwhile... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the PSEC Batcave, while Bruce Wayne clicks his mouse to bestiality midget porn, the PSEC staff have been having lots of discussions about financial paradigms, social media, and what to do about the various problems within that realm. Though I could rant on and on about the cluster frack of synchronicities that bind all of this together, I'll simply do my best to spare you that amount of long-winded torture and attempt to get to the conclusion of this torturous rant. It has become painfully clear to us that reality is like a cake and not a light switch. What I mean by this is we've been trained by the indoctrination of the educational brainwashing system and lamestream media corporate influences since we were all even too young to understand just what sort of garbage was being shoveled into our unsuspecting minds to neurotically run from one end of the hamster wheel to the other instead of stepping off the damn thing. We're taught to pull things apart instead of putting them together. That if one thing doesn't work, to go try another, when in fact, reality is not that boringly simplistic. Each of these things is a component of the whole. It's not about going from one thing to another and doing that neurotic dance until we're tooled to dance anymore. It's about figuring out how to put things together and make them work together. You know, like Windows applications on a Linux desktop or Skype and Google Hangouts, or peanut butter and tuna fish. Okay, not so much that last one. We forget the old adage to never put all of our eggs in one basket, and to make things even worse, we were never taught how to make all the different baskets work together cooperatively. So Nixie, we feel your pain, and have been troubleshooting this for a while now. And we've had some interesting successes. At least I'd like to think so. For those who do not know what pain I'm referring to, I'll just let Nixie tell you in her own words. Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel. Hey, I'm Nikki Pix. Nikki Pixel. Hey, I'm Nicole. Uh, hey, I'm Nikki, and uh, that sounds really weird. Wow, this has been harder and more awkward than I thought, and I had to get this out for you guys. When I first started making videos back forever ago, I was actually in shock and awe at the backlash that I received. People were saying, oh, you don't belong here, and, you know, get off my lawn type stuff. Why do you have boobs and you're talking about tech? And I was just kind of like, that makes no sense at all. And to be completely honest, I was devastated, and I wanted to quit altogether because I didn't think I'd be rejected like that. And I kept on doing them though because I knew that I wanted to help someone and maybe a couple people out there would actually be helped by what I have to say. And so one day I was playing around with Linux and I installed it and posted a video about it. And the Linux community came back and said, wow, I didn't know it was that easy. And things like, I have this computer dying at home and I can't afford an operating system and thank you. And I was just kind of like, it's all worth it. Fast forward to now. So I just wanted to say thank you after so long. I never thought in a million years I would do this. Especially not being this like awkward girl that talked about Linux on YouTube for a couple of people. 
All your support opened my eyes. You've made the experience so much better. Just being genuine and real, and I didn't think that was possible being online, and it is. So for the first time in six years, I want to introduce myself. Hello, my name is Nicole, and uh, but you can call me Nixie. Now you may see some more stuff on the internet with my name pop up, and this is just the steps that I'm going to take to be half as authentic as you've been to me. The truth is that YouTube has become... <sighs> a lot of producers are constantly getting flagged, including myself, and it's just a struggle. Then having no recourse, I decide to partner with a bad network, or I spend most of my time not doing videos but trying to please sponsors. I do not want charity. I have a proposition. How about I work for you? My videos will always be free, no matter what, and you can just give a little bit if you can, but there's no pressure. I'll work for it by giving tech support, doing live streams, special videos, and even t-shirts that I've designed that are top secret right now. Um, what do you think? I've done a lot of research, and I actually think I found a website called Patreon that holds the YouTuber responsible for the content that they create um, and the people that they're working for, which is you guys. But like I said, I'm nervous about this, so if you could tell me your thoughts, it means a lot to me. And um, I actually think I have a really good shot at producing content with, with the help of you guys, the people that matter. Um, yeah, and produce content on a regular basis. Seriously, I'm really bad at opening up and uh, you guys helped get that out of me and I appreciate all your kind words and support. So if you're seeing this video, it means that you helped me a lot. And I wanted to tell you what's really going on. I'm trying to create content that you laugh and learn from and I value that infinitely. So the reality is that the system that I hate, the YouTube system, is the very system I need to survive. Whenever something happened with my videos and I had to put it on hold, I was like, oh God, you know, my video isn't approved for monetization and uh, the pre-rolls aren't going and I can't make anything off this, what do I do? And my friend told me, like, why don't you tell them the truth? The truth is, I want to create videos more often again. I just don't want to be under somebody's thumb. The truth is that I wouldn't be here without you, and I can only do this with you. I promise you this, my normal videos will always, always, always be free. Um, I'm just asking for a little help. And uh, it's not going to be a one-sided deal, no, no, no. I'm going to be giving back a lot too. I'm launching my open source t-shirt line. I love what I do, but it takes a lot of time and yes, even money to do it. I'm a one-woman show. But yeah, I do have goals. Like, I'd love to have an editor so I could get more content out faster and won't hear my jokes 10 million times over and over and over and over. Maybe a lavalier mic that I don't have to shove into my bra. Uh, yep. Or maybe even have a mobile device that doesn't look like this. We too have contended with YouTube Nazism and censorship. It's an unfortunate epidemic here on the World Wide Wasteland. Though we can show you lots of neat tips and tricks to reduce the probabilities of getting bitch tagged by the YouTube Gestapo, one thing of course that remains a problem is that YouTube can censor you or reject videos for monetization just because they damn well feel like it. Which of course isn't cool. Though, we've been experimenting with methods to combat this as well. Nixie, I've recently come across your videos about the real you, and people not being numbers, and all sorts of awesome paradigm shifting stuff that you've been sharing with the masses. I am extremely proud of you for those videos, by the way. You put out a call for assistance, a desire to work with like-minded individuals to troubleshoot, to brainstorm, to get creative, to formulate solutions, to share ideas, to work together. Well, Nixie, we're answering that call. My name is Dave Kelso, aka Time Warrior. We used to know each other as acquaintances. Not very well, so you may or may not remember me. We've talked on AIM. You told me that your name is Nicole, a very long time ago. And you said, and I quote, it's a secret. Don't tell anyone. I've kept the secret. Though, now that you let it out, I don't feel there's any harm in me mentioning it. 
I've also got a DeviantArt account, and this picture I made, that you once featured, might very well jog your memory of me, just in case you might have forgotten. You're a busy gal, you deal with a lot of people. What I am offering in response to your call to action is an alliance of cooperation. PSEC isn't a social group or a social club. It's not a cause or a movement. In fact, what it is and is not, I feel is clearly explained in our new 2015 opening sequence that you've already seen at the beginning of this video. This entire video has been made with Caden Live, by the way. So, I'm going to take a moment to introduce you to some of the PSEC crew, as well as others that we work with on an as-needed basis. Their names and faces are floating by on your screen right now. Really awesome folks that it has been my absolute pleasure to work with on various projects. Some I've known for longer than others, but they're all awesome. So yes, Nixie, though it is true that you have a nice bod, big bits, and a tight ass key, and it's true that on a SATA day night, you enjoy getting scuzzy just as much as anyone else does. The reason you are being offered an alliance is just simply because you're a really fucking awesome person, and it would be a pleasure to brainstorm and work with you on whatever. So let's bake our reality cake, because light switches just don't taste all that wonderful. So if I've made you curious, just add me on Facebook. The Facebook Nazis made me change my name from Dave Kelso to my full name of David Brian Kelso because they're Nazis and they can. You can simply just type in facebook.com forward slash time warrior as that would be easier. If you're not curious and you don't inquire, then you're still a really awesome person and we hope you at least subscribe to our channel and explore our videos when you get some time. And yes, that goes for the rest of you out there too. Like, comment, subscribe, share on social media. So, I'll just end on this note. Believe nothing. Disbelieve nothing. Question everything. Peace out.